half life is defined in each and every way. At the time it takes for half the nuclei to decay from paranuclei into daughter it will give and we can never know when there is one half life to live radioactive materials will decay to form new elements right well this happens over a certain period of time sometimes the particles are emitted quickly and the decay happens very fast Sometimes it takes place over a much longer period of time. If you want to find out the half-life or rate of decay of radioactive isotopes, all you need to do is find a reference guide, like reference table M. It gives you the different isotopes, and it gives you the decay mode, as well as the half-life. Now, some of them are measured in milliseconds, or thousandths of a second. In other words, they decay incredibly quickly. Hold it in your hand for a little while, and before you know it, it's not even radioactive anymore because it's all been used up. Some of these have half-lives in the billions of years, which means that if they were radioactive at the beginning of our planet, they're still radioactive today. When a radioactive isotope undergoes decay, it turns into another nucleus. Over the course of one half-life, half of the isotope nuclei will undergo decay, roughly. Now, we're talking about a small sample like this, like flipping 16 coins. On average, eight of them are going to flip to heads, eight of them are going to flip to tails. That's just on average, but you've got to do it hundreds of thousands of times to get closer to that average. On average, when no time has elapsed, we have 16 nuclei here. None of the decay product, which means 100% of our sample is undecayed, or 1 over 1 if you want to do it as a fraction. As you let this decay over one half-life, half or roughly eight of these nuclei are going to undergo decay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The number is completely random. Whichever one is going to go, you don't know. You have no idea which specific nucleus is going to undergo decay. Only that each individual one, like living a penny in the air, has a 50% chance of coming up heads or undergoing decay. So after one half-life, you're only going to have eight iodine-131s left. Eight will have decayed to the decay product, xenon-131, which means we only have 50% of our original sample left, or one half of our original sample left. Let it go another half-life, and of the remaining eight, one, two, three. Three, four will undergo decay. Again, which ones undergo decay is completely random. So now we have four iodine 131s remaining on decay. Twelve are now turned completely into xenon 131, which means we only have 25% of our original sample left, or one fourth of the nuclei remain undecayed after two half lives. If you let it go for a third half life, of the four that remain on average, two will undergo decay, again, completely randomly. So that when you're done, only two nuclei undergo decay, leaving two nuclei remaining. Now we have 14 xenon-131s, which means that 12.5% of our original sample remains undecayed, or one-eighth of our atoms. And then we can go another half-life, and on average, one more nucleus will decay, which means that we only have 6.25% of our original sample left on decay, or 1 16th. When will this next nucleus, this last one that remained undecayed, go? Next half-life? No way of telling. You could flip a penny in the air five times and have it come up heads every single time. This is just on average. Now, if you want to find out how much time has gone by, you need to know how long a half-life of iodine-131 is. According to reference table N, the half-life is 8.07 days. I'm just going to round that off to 8 days to make that a little bit easier to do the math here. So after one half-life, 8 days have gone by. After two half-lives, another 8 days have gone by. After another half-life, yet another 8 days have gone by. And after a fourth half-life, yep, another 8 days have gone by. You see, the duration of the half-life is fixed. If the half-life is eight days, it'll always be eight days. 
Over the course of each eight-day period, you have half of the preceding amount of your radioactive isotope.